Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here. Welcome back to 1990 Soviet coup, Cold Waters. This should be the last mission of the game. We just got our orders to head to patrol area 640 up here and to intercept a Soviet boomer, AKA the last mission of the campaign. And uh, I'm expecting it to be a heck of a fight. All the previous fights in the the streams earlier today were all uh, pretty much cakewalks. <clears throat> so uh, let's frickin' zero three six storm. Okay, it's gonna be loud, weak duct, weak layer. Uh, let's do battle stations. Bearing zero three six zero one. Make turns for ice. We're under the ice. Maneuvering eye. Oh, it's daytime. Faded. Come left to zero three six helm I. Make turns for six knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, reestablished. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Typhon? Got a Typhon? Got a Typhoon. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. I'm surprised uh, the Coldwaters guys didn't have me record a uh, a separate submarine message for a ballistic missile submarine. You think that would warrant that? Sierra 1 is a ballistic missile submarine. <laughs> Kill yards kills ya. Ah. <laughs> what isn't a cakewalk for underwater chat? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that last dangerous water stream, but I was a uh, that was a rust a rust bucket of a of an outing by yours truly there. I was about to, about to say there's not gonna be two boomers. Victor. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as submerged submarine. Oh, they better. Sh oh my gosh, they may actually be this close aboard. Con helm steady course. Fifty three hundred yards. Rig ship for ultra quiet. I love this finale music, it's so good. Oh, okay. Everyone's uh, beneath the layer. <clears throat> Make depth two five zero feet, die by. Come left to two eight zero helm I. Oh, okay, a little, little shallowness here. Not too deep. I would like to stay under this ice sheet. I come right. Come right to one zero one helm I. Try to avoid these guys sneaking some standoffs my way. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I'm right there. Yowzer. Uh. Oh shit. Big Bertha. <clears throat> Tiernan, hello. We are in. <laughs> we got spawned in close here. Splitting the difference between these two guys. Look, I'm just a little pipsqueak over there. Freaking Big Bertha over there, good god. Like staring down jaws or something.
has been a little while. This may be over quick. I remember, I guess I've only finished one other, one other campaign in Cold Waters, huh? That boomer mission, that mission took a while. There was a, there was like a Sierra and a Victor and a Delta in that one. Oh, what's up with this Victor solution? Just nothing on that Victor. I've been working out and not sure how you're feeling about the working out or how that's making you miss the streams. <laughs> oh, Victor might be further away. Uh, what's our course of action here? Typhoon is moving. Come left two, two, six, it's getting two, close to nine. me. I really don't want him to hear me because this is freaking... This is like one of those dogfights with the fighter jets with the uh, off-bore heat seekers. Everyone just kills each other in the dogfight. This is what that's going on right here. <laughs> <clears throat> You point your bow to them, does it make it harder? I guess in theory it might. Definitely from an active sonar perspective. I, I would think with passive it's more negligible. But I'm not sure. I don't think it's modeled that way to make passive easier to detect from that perspective. All right, let's just Come try and two, slink two, away six, seven, helm, I. due west here. Our numbers are pretty good, but we're also running silent. <clears throat> okay, Victor 3 is firming up over here. Con, helm, steady course. Yeah, I imagine it might help if you're going pretty fast with the screws, but I think it, it's super. I would just think from an engineering per my engineering perspective at a low speed that hiding the screws wouldn't matter too much. <clears throat> I wish the range had a little arrow on it too, if it was like closing or opening. Oh, Victor's going that way, huh? We're in like a little bowl here, look at that, it goes like shallow over there. Is there land over there? What's up with that? We're in like a little... It's like the little ice eye of the hurricane. Look at this crap. Yeah, I mean... The range of, like, aspect to hide, like, the prop is, like, so small compared to just, like... I don't know, it's too deep here for me to really sweep around, but, like, you just come off sight a little bit. You can see that prop. I'm not going to say it's not going to make a difference. The question is how significant of a difference is it? It definitely makes a difference, much more of a difference for active purposes. <clears throat> okay, we are now opening up. All right, let's come north. Come right to three, five, nine, helm I. Gonna come at him from behind. Giggity.
Oh, yeah. Spraz in the previous stream said if you're behind someone, you can almost forget about building a solution. <laughs> Don't know why that is, but that's how it is. <laughs> this far away and from this angular perspective, like, look how much of, like, the angle the typhoon takes up and how much further away it is. Like, it's almost like a third of my boat length all the way over there. I think Victor turning is helping our solution as much as anything. Now we're not behind the dude. I have to worry about him. He's going to definitely shoot back, too. Could fit in his torpedo, too. <laughs> I was weird that, like, over here, they're getting, like, helm. Steady course. ocean, like, as if there wasn't a sheet of ice here. Should be getting, like, that muted sheet of ice lighting. Excuse me. Okay, Victor. was turning. Much is it turning? Come right to zero four zero helm I. Is this supposed to be like a giant Polinia? Oh yeah, dude, it definitely is. That's cool. Just solid- oh, well, I guess there's some ocean over there, but yeah, mostly solid ice all around. There's a giant Polinia. I think the brief in the mission said that this thing had to, whichever boomer we were going to go after had to get under the polar ice cap to launch its missiles. It's like, no. <laughs> Pretty sure the Typhoon could shoot him from port. But that's fine. Makes it more fun. Is he just on, like, some pattern thing? Well, dude, you're just you're putting a cramp in my style, dude. I was about ready to shoot on your ass. The blue circle is supposed to be the, uh, like the aim point for your torpedo. It's kind of janky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think like dot mod fixed it to make it better. But sometimes it seems like it's pretty decent. At least, so this, what I'm doing right now, 1990s Soviet Q is like a version of the stock game. It's kind of like a, kind of like a mod, like a little self-contained campaign thing. It tweaks some things, but it's all like relegated to this campaign in an otherwise stock game. Con sonar new contact. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zero, three, one, designated Sierra three. Con 
Sonar Another one. Another one. Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. How am I getting that dude on the toad? That's a good question. Like Lamy and DW? No, that's a self-contained mod like Reinforce Alert. A lot of what you can change in Cold Waters is in like text files, so one of the major things this game, this mod changes is that like your ex Excel, this game is like you fly the submarine yourself, so to speak, so you can't really, to make it easier, like it doesn't, it's quicker to accelerate and turns are more or less on rails, but like this mod like slows down acceleration, but it's like, it's just in this campaign, like if I were to come out of this and play like the default 84 campaign or a quick mission, it would still be the stock game. Whereas like something like dot mod is like a complete game overhaul, like it changes everything you play in the game. So it's really just a campaign, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's a, a long way for me to say that, but it tweaks a few things. <clears throat> oh, we got this, don't you worry, we got this. Mr. Typhoon here may, may take, uh... May take two torps though. Oh, and another major thing is reload times are much longer in this campaign too. I think like seven minutes a tube. Stock games more like one to two minutes a tube. So it kind of makes, this campaign makes Cold Waters a little more dangerous waters like, a little slower. I like it, it's been fun. Come right to zero eight five helm I. All right, so the plan, of course, again, get behind the typhoon. Not for his lack of ability to hear me. That's just the better place to be when starting an engagement. And then probably get give two torps to the typhoon, torp each to the escorts. And we'll go from there. Evade, reload, if necessary. Was that dude just hanging out by a, an iceberg? Yeah, that guy's heading for some uh, hostile territory there. <laughs> this is like one of the most hostile Cold Waters maps I've ever played on. In terms of how many obstacles there are in here. In this Thunderdome. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, come on. What's up with the solution sonar? Fire control, whatever, whomever. So much for uh, Con, helm, steady course. All hands man your battle stations. Plopped us right in the middle of this crap. I don't know what these are. Some kind of induction scoop, but those are for the reactor. I don't know. Stewie, hello. No, I, I did not think to do that line earlier. <laughs> Sounds like we got a boomer coming out of the barn. Sounds like a missile boat coming out of Polyarni. I wonder if that was in the script originally or if they added that in later. Because they're like, the viewers could have no idea what the hell that means. Nuke torps? 
I ain't got no nuke tops. Were there even any nuclear torpedoes in 1990 in the U.S. arsenal? Which torpedo had nuclear warheads in the U.S. arsenal? I wouldn't even be able to tell you. Eh, 69. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're about to lose track of, or we're getting close to losing track of Sierra too. He's just freaking going on out there. Oh, is this dude really going to be right here, too? This is, uh, crazy. Knife fight. <laughs> yeah, if, if it were quieter out here, this would have gone kinetic already. Yo, Jesus. It's gonna run aground if it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Coming out of the Polinia. Sub-launch wired nuke torpedo, Yowza. I've heard that for like an equivalent pressure wave strength, that is to say, a shock wave from an explosion, a nuke would be Assuming it was at a distance that it was like comparable to like a conventional warhead, the nuke pulse would be better because if a conventional warhead blows up here, the shockwave is very rounded, so you get localized pressure. But if if a nuke blows up super far away for that same strength of shockwave after it's dissipated, the shockwave front is much flatter, so it's supposedly easier to take. And that's because it was, it's, it's flatter because it was further away. The circle of blast waves is just a larger radius at that point. All right. All right, distance is opening. Let's come this way then. Come right to one, eight, two, helm, I. And maybe let's do more like this. Come right to one, four, two, helm I. If I go straight down this way, this victor is gonna keep approaching me. Oh, we're about to lose Sierra too. It's also pretty far away. Seven miles. And everyone has super capable torpedoes too, so I don't even know if we want to be shooting from this close. You said I've been going up against older Soviet boats lately with like set 65s and stuff. As you said, 80s are very capable. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing two nine three contact faded. So we probably want to shoot from further away too. If I shoot this close, then I'm gonna get destroyed.
All right, so we're going to actually let these distances open up a little bit more here. And I wouldn't mind getting back underneath that ice sheet, trying to avoid any standoff torps from this guy. Okay, well, he's under an ice sheet as well. I think Mr. Typhoon is under an ice sheet now, too. So that's good. Can't launch their standoff torp missiles at me. I'm trying to get a spatial sense for how far away the edge of the ice sheet is. See, it's weird, like, the fact that he has, like, the toad keeps, like, like, his... This sensor should be minus 50. I'm in those baffles, but... Not in those toad baffles, so I don't know. That's weird. <clears throat> Come right to one, eight, three, helm I. You know, I don't think I've ever had an issue in this game of worrying about a torp running aground. I guess just most missions aren't in that kind of configuration. I feel like that's a common, <laughs> a common thing to worry about in dangerous waters. Yeah, the old South China Sea. I had started a campaign for that a long time ago. Never finished it. Oh, we're still so close to this dude. Let's uh, left full rudder this. Con sonar lost contact. Whoa. Sierra one last bearing two four seven contact faded. The hell just happened? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing two four seven. The heck was that? Con cross sonar them, regained cross contact under the ice sheet. Sierra Have something to do with three, that? Bearing three zero four. That was bizarre. Just like all of a sudden. It's freaking gone. Okay, well, I was going to say before that happened, I'm just going to come around in a full circle, try and let this Victor go by a little more to try and get behind him a little bit, actually, too. Oh, well, the solution just almost popped back right away. That was very odd. Not too worried about the Typhoon as much being far away. Dude's slow. You can always find him again. It's kind of like a... I mean, it is a boss fight. You kind of want to... Get the annoyers first. I'm going to swing around. Start the shoosting.
not gonna wait till I get directly behind the Victor Three. Just more or less, kind of a uh, in a good position there. I don't think I'm even going to bother trying to shoot at Sierra 2 at the moment. Just so far away. Not even in the picture. Doubt he'll even, I don't even know if he'll shoot. Okay, it's worth knowing that this maneuver may take me out from under the ice sheet. I'm assuming those have some kind of minimum range. I don't know what that minimum range is. <laughs> Dude's gonna run aground if he keeps going this way. Okay, about time to start the music here. This is not a terrible angle to shoot from and shoot and then get boogie in. It was Paganini. <laughs> well, this is my story. I'll tell it right, Cap. Pavarotti was a tenant. Paganini was a composer. All right. Lots of build-up, lots of tension. Oh, dude can't hear me for crap. Okay, he just went under the ice sheet. Oh, I guess there's like a threshold when you go into the ice sheet there. His numbers were going crazy too. Okay. It's unsecure from that. Oh, let's start getting some speed in here Eight to get these four, weapons one, out. Five knots. Maneuvering up. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 3. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 3. I get that typhoon another one screw Con it. fire control we've come right to. Zero one seven helm I Threshold for what? What did I just say that involved the word threshold? I don't know. <laughs> Where's that torpedo going? Come right to one five one helm I Oh, he just went. The Victor just went underneath Con the edge of the ice sheet. Sierra, one, Do you remember when when I went under the edge of the ice sheet? Zero, I lost track of this the of Victor three and the Con Typhoon sonar, at the same time. On. When Sierra, he went under one, the edge of the ice sheet, two, four, his zero. Con, detection con, numbers of me like zero, plummeted zero, like eight, at least like five or ten decibel. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. So there's something weird going with like that Helm, this course. transition of the ice. We, we'll probably lose the typhoon here as we get underneath of it. He launched another torp. Not this time. Oh, we might just sneak by these torps or they may lock us up here. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing two six nine. 
He's got another torp inbound. Where is that? Is that his torp inbound? Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Um, sonar lost contact. Sierra. Three, Howie. Last okay. Bearing, two, six, nine. Contact breaking up. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, six knots. I wonder if these torps go by and then turn One, that way. Because there's a torp coming this way here, this guy. But I don't want to do it at full speed. Turn right into their seeker guns. Con maneuvering, Just like right on the edge of detection One, there. Five, I think we're good. Knots. In terms of that dude not locking on to me here. Make turns for two six <sighs> knots. Sketchy, he was bracketing me up with these torpedoes here. I think those are my guys heading off to the typhoon. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra. We'll come left to three, two, three, helm I. Okay, Victor, Sierra 2 over there is pinging us for whatever the heck that's worth. It's not going to pick up anything. Typhoon is locked up. Con, helm, steady course. Come right to 353, three. helm I. Con, helm. Steady course. Come right to zero two six. Helm I. I'm not sure what's happening with the edge of the ice sheet. That seems more like a glitch. I wouldn't expect a hard boundary like that. Can the torps go that far? Con, so oh yeah. Lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two. Five two. Contact <sighs> faded. Look at that. Pow. Con sonar regained contact. Okay, cloud of shot two. One. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra one. <laughs> okay. Launch him up there, buddy. Pow. Is he still up? He's still alive. He got hit by two torps. That torp seems kind of far away. Come left to three, three, one, helm I. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, six knots. I would expect like an area Con, sound helm, impediment for. Oh, it's circle searching from the ice edge of the ice sheet. Not really. Like a force field line that you walk Con through. Sonar regained contact on. Come left to two, six, eight. Helm I. Make turns for one. Make turns for. Make turns for eight knots. Maneuvering I. It's not going to implode. No, it's very shallow here. Relatively speaking. Con maneuvering. Making turns for eight knots. Uh, we will work our way over there. Con, helm, steady course. Shot off some random, uh, U sets. Not really worried about venturing onto this Polinia as much anymore, because none of them are in it either to shoot any SSN 14, 16s at me. So we'll uh, we'll slowly, slowly tactically head over that way. Wait for some torpedoes to reload in the process. We only got one in the tube. A typhoon took two hits. Circle search. Okay. <laughs> Never understand that. Go plunder the victor.
Okay, that torp is heading directly due east, okay. I'm gonna keep my distance from that circle search torp. We're barely picking up Sierra One there. Yeah, let's, let's standard it up. Don't want him to one, five knots. boogie Maneuver away, potentially, up. but 15 knots is about... Whoa. That's a torpedo. Okay. I don't even see that on my freaking sonar. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one, five I think that's like knots. Sierra 2 Victor going there. Oh my Making gosh. Making turns for two, six knots. Maneuvering eye. Thing seems to be snaking right for me. Snaking or circle searching? Okay, this might be bad. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, two, eight, seven. Alright, well, let's not get this other circle search torpedo coming after me. Let's just try to Con, avoid that guy. Room, two, three, ready. That Victor did shoot at me, CR2. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Whose weapons countermeasure homing? That's a good question. I shot off three torps and they all have expired. Passing 600 feet. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing might be wire guided here. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 300 feet. Passing 300 feet. Sweet Jesus. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing 500 feet. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. We got so lucky just then. Holy shit. Okay. Goodness. How did I not pick that Make thing up coming in? One, zero, Good God. Maneuvering eye. I'm sure Sonar called out that there was a launch transient from Sierra 2-ish. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one, zero, knots. No. Okay. At least I didn't... At least it wasn't said and I missed it. That's a saving grace, I suppose. Make turns for five knots. Make turns for All right. nine knots. That away. And let's head for the typhoon. Come left to two, four, seven, helm I. Con helm. Steady course. Yeah, I think it was definitely wire guided. <laughs> Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing two four seven. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing two four eight. Contact faded. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. I'd say it was misguided. <laughs> Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Yeah, 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 I know. Thank you. Passing 500 feet. Alright, since we cannot develop a solution to the typhoon. 
and he is running from us wearing his baffles. For some reason you can't make a solution when that's the state of affairs. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. And there is also another Victor 3 out here somewhere as well. Con, torpedo room, tube two, ready. Why is that, Vic that Victor's torpedo there made it Con, through all those frickin' ice on. boys? Sierra, one, bearing, two, six, Okay, two. well this dude has to be hurting. Uh, we might be somewhat close given these numbers here. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. I wonder if he's stuck in like a uh, emergency surface bonking off the ice loop. Passing 400 feet. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. I'll just shoot a torp as why. <laughs> just want to get a uh, solution on him. Make depth two five zero feet. Die by. Oh yeah, I don't know if they can sit on the bottom or not. I don't know how that works with all that. I've heard no. Because of, yeah, the cooling water. I think this guy's going to be stuck on the ice somewhere here. And worm our way up there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, finish him. Shoot two one, aye, sir. Make turns for one five knots, maneuvering eye. Oh, give that Victor a tour, please. Where was that bearing? Turns 
So we got some launch transients. I'm gonna hang out here at 15. Whoa. What was that? Someone just blew up on that ice sheet over there. Okay, well, okay, good. We're not going to run into that ice. Good. Are both these guys just stuck on the ice? Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, eight, six. Am I hearing launch transients? Is he stuck in that ice trying to shoot things and it's like blowing up on this iceberg? Because yeah, I heard a launch transient and then I saw an explosion. No! You are not supposed to come this way. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing, two, seven, nine. Steer it in manually, let's do it. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Suck on this, Ramius. <laughs> Con sonar, lost contact, Sierra, one, last bearing, two. Seven, nine, contact breaking up. It was on the other side of the ice. Is this thing like semi locked on? Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think he's managing to shoot inside the ice, but then it comes around and then crashes on the boundary and blows up. <laughs> I can see the game does not treat ice very well. All right, well, there you go. Benito. Excellent job. Exclamation mark, period. Red Rebellion. Unrest. Soviet Union collapses. Well, well. Slightly more violent end to the Soviet Union than what happened here. Slightly. <laughs> Seven hours of boredom. That was tense. I don't know if that's a, a high, low, medium tonnage, what. That was a good one. Alright, there you go. I enjoyed that, that was fun. I keep forgetting to post the link to this campaign when I upload the videos on YouTube. To go back and edit all that in. Screw the ton of shit. <laughs> Two subs got stuck on ICO. A lot of Typhoon was uh, done for either way. It's been four years since this came out, man. Oh, there I am. Lucky.
Aha. Alright, yeah, that'll do it. Man, I can't believe this game is four years old. I remember when that trailer first came out and I was like, holy crap, this game looks sweet. But yeah, alright, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, that'll be it for tonight. So, uh, see you guys next time. Have a good one. As always, good hunting. Thanks for watching the 1990 Soviet kill.